Welcome to It Is Time to Stand Up. This is your host, Misty Phillip, and I am here with Hannah Peru. I am so excited when I saw Hannah's book that we're going to talk about on the show today. Uh, it's gorgeous. So Hannah is a multi-passionate, multi-talented <laughs> for photographer and illustrator and artist and um, just an amazing human and uh, lover of Jesus and the word uh, comes from an incredible family and so it is just my honor Hannah to have you here with me today oh thank you so much I'm so excited to be here and I'm excited for your new show and this is super cool and very needed awesome yeah, yeah. and so this is something that we're both passionate about mm -hmm. is speaking the truth into biblical culture and so let's dive into it like can you show everybody your beautiful book yes yes yeah. this is misunderstood a girl with a promise the world forgot um this is a huge piece of my heart <laughs> yeah a very very long process in making this but it it started really simple if you want me to tell yeah, the story. Yeah, because I remember okay. you telling me about it yeah. like, like maybe even two years ago. Yeah, so yeah. I looked back in my journal where I originally had jotted out the whole book. Yeah. And it was January 2021. So it's three years. Wow. God gave this to me. And it was just such a beautiful thing that I just woke up and started writing. And before breakfast, I had the whole thing mapped out. And it was just, an, I wasn't looking to write this book. I wasn't thinking about writing this book. It was literally God said, hey, here's the words, write it down. And that's what I did. And yeah. so then it just, it's, you, you know how, how long these things take. So Well, and that's so funny that you say that because literally God gave me the struggle is real, but so is God in one sitting. Mm. He kind of showed me the thread from Genesis to Revelation, mm -hmm. told me to start in the Greek. It took me three years to write it um, and then to put it out. So very similar yeah. story. It takes... For those of you who haven't uh, written a book, God makes you kind of go through, like really you have to, to live the book before you can release it oh, yeah. to the world. Yeah. Um, but I love just is so beautiful. Um, so t tell us why, what, what's the reasoning behind? Why did you write this book? So really our culture is being faced with false ideology, false identity. Um, you can make up your own truth. You can be whoever you want. You can be a cat. You can be, you know, literally whatever you want to identify as. And, and I have just seen enough of it in our culture. I've seen pain um, closer to home than I want to with those concepts and just the lies that the enemy has put on top of our children. And really, it's an attack on our kids. It is. I've seen such an attack. And I have three little ones. Um, their ages are now 13, not so little anymore. 13, 11, and five, almost five. And I have seen um, just such an issue in our school systems, TV shows, media, uh, books, books, specifically I books. I know, books. I just a really like big issue. The, the, the books that, are, that they're putting in the education yes. system yes. as quality or pornography. Yes. They're yeah. pornography. Yeah. And it is... It's insane. One of the things that I was going to mention to you, I just recently watched a show where a mom was giving a testimony about her daughter who signed up for an after-school art class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That after-school art class was a transition your gender class in, wow. dis in disguise. Um, you know, don't tell your parents what we talk about here. Yeah. And really the parents are thinking they're going to an art class yeah. when really they're being fed all this garbage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the girl, um, the mom took her to the doctor. She saw all these changes that mm -hmm. she was going through. The doctor then secretly put her on Zoloft. So this terrible medication, but Thankfully, the parent was paying attention yeah. and was pr a praying parent. And wow. now her daughter is in a great place. Wow. But there is, there's a real agenda yeah. for the hearts and minds yeah. of children. Yeah. And um, it's not anymore about ABCs and one, two, threes. Mm -hmm. It's a real agenda mm -hmm. that is being pushed upon our children. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you, you said that her mom was paying attention yeah. And I think that's so crucial. I mean, I speak on my podcast to parents all the time and I'm, I try to equip parents 
that, hey, you've got to know what is going on. And there's a lot of laissez-faire and hands-off parents. Well, and the school wants you to be that way. They're yeah. like, we have your kids. Yeah. We're the ones that yeah. know best. Yeah. But parents, God made you mm -hmm. to know what is best for, for your kids. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely right. And, and we have to stand up. Mm -hmm. As parents, we have to stand up and we have to be that support system for our children. And the enemy has, you know, he's pretty much already made divorce a great thing. And, right. you know, in our culture, he's already attacked the, the family unit. Yes. But now he's attacking uh, for the relationship between a parent and child. Mm -hmm. I've got the, the husband and wife apart easily. That was an easy divide. And now I'm dividing Right. Parent and child. His tactics are, are not new. There's nothing mm -hmm. new under right. the sun. Yep. You know, division is one of his, you Absolutely. know, division, distraction, deception, mm -hmm. like all of these D words mm -hmm. that he does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So why the rainbow? Misunderstood is about the rainbow. So, yeah. so why, Hannah? So the rainbow has been portrayed, I, I even have a page in here, um, portrayed as a lot of different things. And the page that kind of presents the problem it says, lately, she's been seen on decoration and jewelry, on flags and fabrics, shouting a false foolery. So we see in our culture where the rainbow has been misused not only by the LGBTQ community, but even in, in other kind of Buddhist, yoga, yogis, kind of, I mean, it's not just an attack on, on one thing, but it's anything that's portraying the Bible or the, the rainbow unbiblically, anything other than what the Lord gave the rainbow to us for, which is his promise. His promise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you had the opportunity to talk to someone uh, from the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. so maybe somebody who's flying their rainbow flag, yeah. Yeah. how would you approach them and, and what would you say to them? You know, really, I have nothing but love for the LGBTQ community. I have had very close friends and family members in the past um, and current that would associate themselves in kind of the the, the queer um, uh, community or LGBTQ community, and the people themselves are not the issue. It is the bondage of the sin and the lifestyle that God has given us such a perfect uh, image from day one of in the man beginning. And life. Yeah, in God all created Genesis. man and woman. Yep to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. And everyone is created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the Bible has so much to say yeah. about this. You're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. 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 It's just another, I mean, it's just another sinful lifestyle. Right. And I'd say the same thing to an alcoholic. Hey, right. let's break free. Let's yeah. break free of these chains and this addiction and this lifestyle. Yeah. And let's go this way together. Or someone cheating on their spouse or yeah. whatever the sin yeah. is. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. all sin to God. Mm -hmm. Right. But you're absolutely right. Yeah. We, we have love mm -hmm. and um, and we, we want them to know the truth because yeah. the truth is what sets us free. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So um, what would you want the young readers of this book to take away from this book? Oh, goodness. I, um, being a mama of three, I just want them to understand God's heart and his spirit toward his children and just understand how much that he wants good for us, how much that he adores us and how much he promises his love and that he wants us to to have him. And that's really all that matters is our purpose in him and purpose in Christ and, and glorifying him. And so that's what these little hands I just pray little hands that hold this book just see the beautiful colors and know like each one of these colors is a piece of his promise mm. and a piece of his heart over them well and it's a promise specifically to not destroy us because yes. of our sin yeah yeah mm -hmm. and the bible is full of so many promises and i love that you said that because he loves each of us he created us in his image but he also sent his son to die for us mm -hmm. so that we could be reconciled to father because sin, there's a penalty for sin. Yeah. And our God is is loving, but he's also faithful and just yeah. and holy. Yeah. And he can't look upon our sin. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's so many promises in the Bible to us. But this particular promise with the rainbow is that he won't destroy us yeah. because of our sin. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. keeps us and holds us. And yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so grateful that you're doing this in a no, time where there is an agenda after mm -hmm. our, our young kids um, and the, the books that are, are being put into yeah. the schools. I hope yeah. that they're, my prayer for this book is that it is in every school library, wow. in every church library, in every mm -hmm. home, parents, uh, we need to get behind this book. Wow. It is a very important book. Thank you, uh, Misty. You're welcome. It's it's incredible that you say that, and that's, a, that's an honor for you to feel that way, and I just, I appreciate that and I pray that with you. Um, I, I was thinking just this morning that this book has been, been already refused by many, uh, many, many men. Um, and I see this as God has shown me this is yours. And I was thinking about the verse, give to Caesar what is Caesar's mm -hmm. and give to me what is mine. Mm -hmm. And that to me is like, okay, God, this is, this is your glory. So I'm giving it to you in this timing, this place. It doesn't matter what men or Caesar that's say right. about it. That's right. So I, I didn't do this for Caesar. I did this for God's glory. And that's, you know, I, I, I don't need to make a dime on that, you know, like right. we don't get rich by making books. Every, right. Or <laughs> feeling <laughs> uh, you know, and that's why I'm doing this because I care mm -hmm. about my children. I care about my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I care that people have not uh, not wanted to hurt people's feelings. They mm -hmm. haven't wanted to stand up, but it is yeah. time. Yes. We have got to impact culture in a positive way. Yeah. And so um, as a mom um, with these beautiful children that you have, <laughs> what is your best advice to, to parents who's, you know, when, when they encounter this book or if their kids are struggling yeah. um, it, with some of these issues, what is your best advice to them? Really, the, the number one thing I could say is get in the word with your children. I think that is, that has to come first. God's word, God's truth has to be in, in your home, in the center of your home. Your kids need to hear it from the word and hear it from the Lord and not just from you nagging them or you know the, the parental advice. They need to see that Jesus tells us what to do and Jesus tells us our identity and our identity is in Christ. And also working with your kids on understanding their identity and understanding who they are because they have Jesus. And if they don't, then living that out and showing them what that means for you and letting them see we all sin, we all make mistakes, but that that we're made new in Christ and that he is our support. He's I mean, there are so many times that I, you know, I lose it and I'm we're all I'm, human. Yes, just we're all human. Really human, but my kids know like Hey, mommy wasn't in the word this morning. I messed up and I, I skipped over that part and I rushed out the door to do this other thing. And and it really, it makes a difference. And I, I'm transparent with my kids and tell them, hey, I, I messed up and it's because I didn't I didn't give this data to, to the Lord. So That's right. That's yeah. right. So important. Um, parents need to be in the word. Mm -hmm. Their children need to be in the word. We need to be in the word together. Yeah. Um, I remember my father-in-law telling me, more is caught than taught. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you are in the word and your kids see you in the mm -hmm. word and then you're in the word with them, um, then it's going to become a lifestyle and a habit for yeah. them. Yeah. And I love that you touched on the gender issue you know, Hannah, you're you're not a lot younger than me, but my boys are older. This was not. I didn't have to face this battle as a mm. parent in the way that that the, this generation yeah. of parents does. Never in a million years did I think that this is where the battle lines would mm -hmm. be drawn. And and it's not. It it comes from a lack of understanding that we're all made in the image of God. Yeah. We don't have to work for him. We, yeah. we, we do things out of our love for him, but he made us in his image and he loves us so much if we never did another thing for him. Yeah, absolutely. And that he created us uniquely on purpose, mm -hmm. with a purpose that he predestined before the beginning of time with good works that yeah. we would walk in those things. He. I am not an artist, okay? <laughs> I am just, I, I like draw like a kindergartner. God did not give me that gift and that is okay. Yeah. That is a gift that you yeah. have. So I would just encourage parents, you know, make sure you're walking in mm -hmm. your identity and in, in yeah. your gifting and calling mm -hmm. and that you are teaching your kids to do the same thing yeah. because um, God created them for special works and mm -hmm. um 
being a, a kid can be a confusing time. We all have those yeah. those times of like thoughts or thinking I'm not like other people or whatever the thoughts may mm-hmm. be. But if you can reiterate the fact that you are made in the image of Christ on purpose with a purpose. Um, yeah. And parents that are parents, they've been called to be a parent. Yeah. God blessed you with children. Yes. So that is one of those callings that you have a big purpose to raise those kids up. That's right. Nobody else, I always say, nobody else can yeah. be my husband's wife and nobody else can be these kids' mom. <laughs> yeah. And even though I have grown kids, I'm still very involved yeah. in their lives because yeah. it is, parenting is a never ending yeah. process. Yeah, it turns into a mentorship more so than a, a parenting role with the adult ones, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's definitely a mentorship. Mm-hmm. And, and I love seeing the beautiful fruit of the seeds yeah. that were planted yeah. in the early life and mm-hmm. to watch um, the, through our prayers and to watch mm-hmm. the Lord just uh, flourish and for us to, to see a yeah. harvest in their lives. So it's wonderful. That's yeah. encouraging for us with younger kids that we will see that one day. We will see that fruit. We're we're in it right now, you know? We're yeah. we're tilling the ground. It's hard to we're see laying the seeds. When you're in the middle of, we're of seeing, that. Yeah. We're seeing them fall off rocky soil. <laughs> they didn't take root. <laughs> but one day they will. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So what would you like to to leave um the people watching this interview, what would you like to leave them with, Anna? Oh, my goodness. Well, first of all, it's time to stand up. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And this this was what the Lord put on my heart in that, in that fold of, you know, I've got to do something. I've right. got to make this, you know, the Lord gave this to me, and I'm like, this has to get out there. Um, gosh, I would just find in your community a way to stand up. If your kids are still in the school systems, get in the school board meetings, be involved uh, if that is not going anywhere, pull them out, and I promise you it will be okay. Pull them out. I know you homeschooled as well. Yes. Um, but just get your kids into. You don't have to put them in a bubble, but you need to have them enough in your arms' reach that you can teach them and instruct them and guide them through these scary circumstances that they can stand firm and and not lose sight of their identity because they know who they are. Yeah, that's so good. One of the things that I really want to do on this show is not just talk about the problems, Mm -hmm. but really give people like, what can we do about it? Yeah. Because a mom at home may think, well, I, you know, what can I do? Well, first of all, you can raise the next generation Mm -hmm. for Christ. You can be involved in their lives. You, Mm -hmm. if they're in a public school, like you said, you can go to those school board meetings. You volunteer at that school. You know what is happening in those after school programs. You know what those after school clubs are really about. Um, and just being in tune with your your parents, um, as parents with yeah. your children. One of the things that I loved about the way my husband grew up, he did go to public school, but every day after school, his mom made them come home and sit at the table and talk about the day mm-hmm. and what happened mm-hmm. and gave them a snack before <laughs> the whole rest, like had their, my heart, childhood. had their heart uh, before they hit the neighborhood to go play with their <laughs> friends. But she knew what was happening yeah. in their lives yeah. and in their hearts. Yeah, And um, that's so important because our kids are being bombarded with so many lies mm-hmm. and um, so much deception. And so we have to be in the truth got to be grounded in the truth. Mm-hmm. And then we, we have to have their hearts. I think that's critical. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Hannah, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm really oh, praying blessings upon blessings. Thank you, you so much, Misty. Thank I appreciate you for it so much. Awesome. Thank you for, for doing this book and using your gifting and, and talents for the kingdom of God and mm-hmm. for the next generation. Thank you, Misty. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.